O Lord God, we are so glad for what we have been given in Christ. Even as we look to his birth and his coming into the world as he declared and began ministry, more than this, O Lord, he came into our midst to be one with us, to know our pain, our struggles, that we might have no reason to fear, but really know how much you love us. That our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ walked upon long roads and his feet got dusty. And as he reached out unto us, he felt our pain and knew that we were like sheep without a shepherd. Oh, how we have lost our way. But in Christ we are not lost, but found. And so it is in his name and seeking him in the living of our lives that we come together this day in worship and in praise to rejoice that we have been given, first of all, your word and most of all, your spirit. That through these we will come to know our Lord and Savior Christ and in your spirit, our joy and life will be uplifted before you. That we will be given understanding and wisdom that will allow us to live faith so openly as to inspire others. Lord, that your work is done even in us. Oh, we are humbled. Humbled that you have chosen us to live such a life. And from this moment, to be recognizable as your children, to be guided by your word. Lord, we pray and thanks for those who have in our lives spoken to us of this word times receiving mockery from us. At times, Lord, challenging us with their own discernments. Lord, we're thankful for the guides you have given. Even as you have called us to be guides now ourselves. Lord, we don't know everything. We don't understand all this, but Lord, you will give us understanding as we need it. You will guide our steps and journey if we listen. And so, Lord, this day we pray for the discernment to listen and to receive the guidance and strength that you offer. Lord, guide us all in the work that is before us, whether it is the work within your church or in serving our community. As nurses and doctors, as caregivers, as laborers, as first responders, as transport drivers, as those who work in the fields in farming or those who bring from the fields in manufacturing to stocking the shelves, to washing the dishes or the floors. Lord, in putting together the clothes that we bear as we go about our daily tasks and wonder at each and every person's purpose. Lord, help us to find our way and the joy of our life as in service, we serve one another, but over this all, Lord, we seek to serve and honor you. Lord, we pray for those who are tired in the midst of a difficult time. Lord, we pray for those in the, in the United States right now who are trying to figure out a way forward, both politically, in their communities, in the fragmentation that exists across that nation, Lord, May we as Canadians, but most of all, may all of us as Christians come together to build up not only this fragmented nation, but the many fragmented nations throughout the world. Lord, there are civil wars still going on. There are factions within nations that are hurting the, the, the civilian population. Brothers and sisters in Christ are at each other's throats and religions fight against each other when they ought to be seeking to love each other the, to, to the discernment which of, tr of truth which is in you. Lord, we're going about this all wrong. Help us to follow Christ again. To listen to his word, to love as he taught us to love. And so, Lord, hear us as we declare our faith in words that have long stood in the church as a declaration of faith before all peoples and amongst ourselves. Lord, hear us even as we finish this prayer. In Christ we pray. Amen.
And so we declare these words. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary and suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.